I'm Jan. This is a, a book haul in the bedroom, kind of a little bit cosy in the bedroom with some coffee and lots of books because went a little bit wild this autumn. Just so many books I felt I needed to have. <laughs> so I'm going to start with um, one that I didn't buy uh, this month but um, bought quite recently but it's Against Memoir by Michelle T. I just wanted to mention it because I went to London to see her in conversation and she signed my book um, and uh, yeah I loved this book. I read it, I finished it yesterday. I loved the in conversation. Michelle T is amazing. <laughs> you should all read her. I felt this was so important as well, the way she writes about queer people and trans people and just that feeling of being an outsider. Um, I find all of that quite relatable and um, there's some essays in here which are just so good. That I really enjoyed the one on Valerie Solanes, but um, my favourite was definitely the ha Hags in Your Face, which is about um, like a girl gang in the 90s in San Francisco called the Hags, who Michelle T was a little bit younger than, but she kind of wanted to be in the Hags. I just thought it was, that was just so good and kind of felt really important. And there's also stuff about um, kind of uh, her relationships and having a baby and trying to have a baby. And um, it is great. <laughs> Read that one. So she was in conversation with Juliet Jacks who wrote Trans and Memoir, so I picked this up as well. Um, I'd been aware of this book for a while because I think the cover is so um, striking and I'm really interested in reading Trans and Memoirs too. Um, so I, yeah, I'm glad to finally get it. Um, she was great when in the in com in conversation, really interesting, loads of great stuff to say, so I think this is going to be good. Apparently it also talks a little bit about, not just about um, her um, kind of, uh, experience but also kind of just a history almost of, of trans experience as well so that looks like it's going to be great and um, the most important book in this haul is <gasps> Hey Bert <laughs> by my very own Roberto Pastore look how beautiful this book is I'm in well the cover is great it's by a, a, a local artist in Cardiff called uh, Molly what is her surname Molly Sinclair Thompson um, I will link her Instagram, I will link, link all of our Instagrams and um, I really love the, this yellow on the back as well and then you've got the amazing poems inside. I know that lots of you or a few of you have bought this and thank you so much and please let us know what you think of it. Um, yes, so it's available uh, I think like everywhere. I will link the publisher down um, in the description as well if you'd like to buy it through the publisher. It's published on Parthian. Um, there's a quote on the front by Crystal Jeans and she says, Bert's writing quite simply makes me happy, jealous, but happy. You need a copy. Um, Charlotte from Tired Mama very kindly sent me the Literary Witch's Oracle after I was having like a bit of a bad weekend. <laughs> so she sent me this and I think she bought herself one and um, weirdly I'd kind of seen this like about a couple of weeks before and really wanted it and thought, no, you can't get that but then she must have sensed it but it's so gorgeous there's a little booklet and then there's these oracle cards and they are of so there's emily dickinson so there's like um women writers um aeneas nin mary shelley and then also kind of um little creatures there's a hedgehog what else have we got a knife it's beautiful um me and Bert have been uh, picking out oracle cards i love oracle cards and i love tarot and yes so gorgeous thank you so much charlotte i loved having that in the post okay so when i was in london i um went to a couple of bookshops. I went to Gaze the Word. I didn't have loads of time to go book shopping. I really wanted to go to um, that new women's bookshop, bookshop, the second 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 shelf. I'll have to go next time. But in Gaze the Word, um, which I love, which has such a good selection and is so friendly and lovely, I got three books. So I bought Lie With Me, which is by Philippe Besson and translated by Molly Ringwald. Um, I bought this because it, you know, it looked pretty classy. 
uh, number one French bestseller. And I thought, I bet Bert would like to read that too. And when I got home, he said, yes, he had had, had his eye on this one as well. So it's kind of, um, is it fiction? Yeah, fiction. So it's about uh, uh, Philippe. I think maybe it's kind of that fiction-ish. Uh, Philippe's teenage years to a winter morning in 1984, a small French high school and a carefully timed encounter between two 17-year-olds. So that sounds great. Um, I got this from the young adult section and this is by Anne-Marie Anne -Marie McLemore and it's When the Moon Was Ours. Um, I was aware of Anne-Marie McLemore's other book which I also wanted and picked up but I had to carry all these home as well so um, put that one back down. So she's or they I think have also written um, Wild Beauty yeah and I kind of quite interested in that one but this kind of looks a little bit magical realism um, and I don't I think it's is it's a uh, female female I'm not sure but anyway it's queer in some sense so that looks good and then this one I hadn't heard of before but this was recommended there um, and it's Love lives here a story of thriving and transgender family by amanda jet knox and um amanda jet knox was talking about how i think her uh, partner um uh, when she when they got married he was a guy and then transitioned to a woman and about how um she was looking for like positive stories about that and couldn't find any and so wanted to write one and i thought that was great so um apparently it's, yeah they said it was really good there and looking forward to reading that and then the other bookshop I went to was the um, Welcome Collections bookshop, which is always really nicely curated as well. So they had um, quite a lot of books around illness and um, disability. And I, and I picked up one from the display table and that's this one, which is Notes Made While, Made While Falling by Jen Ashworth. Um, and I just think I read a little bit when I was there and I just thought it, it sounded really good. Um, and it says it's a genre bending memoir and a cultural study of traumatized and sickened selves in fiction and film. So that looks really great. And then at the counter, I thought I'd get this one as well. Greta's book, um, No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference. And that was my little uh, London trip. The others I bought online. So I bought Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan which I've already read earlier in the year, um, but I loved it so much. Um, that was a library copy. I thought I must have my own copy. It's so wonderful. I've also got P.S. I Like You by Casey West, which is like a young adult contemporary romance type thing, I think. But um, I read one of her stories in a book called Snow in Love, kind of at winter time, and her st short story was so adorable that I thought I wanted to read more of her books. I got that one. I've got The Book of Dust, Volume 2 by Philip Pullman. Super excited to read this, but might save it for kind of when I've got some time off work, because I was thinking maybe kind of a Christmassy read. I don't know if it's snowy in there, but um, I, they always feel like they should be sort of Christmassy or wintry. Um, I had to get Patty Smith's Year of the Monkey. Uh, this is such a lovely little book. It's got lots of photos um, of hers in there as well and I've already had a little look about the section on on um Sam Shepherd that's not Sam Shepherd <laughs> but I love Sam Shepherd so I kind of skipped ahead to that bit so that's going to be good of course and then oh what a pleasure <laughs> um Eve Babbitt's I Used to Be Charming the rest of Eve Babbitt's introduction by Molly Lambert and what's so good about it is it's so thick so they're collected kind of essays articles they're going to be amazing and I think they go from, um, they seem to go from like 70s up to nine, mainly 70s to 90s. Although I don't know if there's some which are either kind of more recently written or she's just um, edited them more recently as well. So let's see that last essay that's in here. When is that? That's from 1980. So it's kind of a mixture. And it's going to be amazing. And then the last one is one that Bert bought me. And it's this one, which is Make It Scream, Make It Burn, Essays by Leslie Jameson. I don't actually know what this is about, um, it, it, but I read her book, um, Recovering. Is that what it's called? Yes, The Recovering, which was so good. And it was about her um, alcohol dependency, but also looked at writers and alcohol as well. And it was a bit, it was just wonderful. If you're interested in reading um, books around addiction, that is a really good one. Um, and so just wanted to read anything she'd written, really. And this looks so good. And it's blurbed by... Uh, Maggie Nelson on the back so 
you know it's going to be good that is it that's all the books uh let me know if you've read any um uh yeah yeah <laughs> just let me know i will see you soon